Good morning, Porter County. My name is Tristan Maddox. And my name is Ruthie Matthews, and welcome to the PC3, PC3 News, News PM, PM Edition, Edition sponsored, sponsored by, by Blythe Athletics and Apparel. Apparel. If you're feeling hungry, you're in good luck. Today is National Cheeseburger Day. Did you know that according to the citizens of Pasadena, California, the cheeseburger was first cooked up by a 16-year-old old short order short cook at a roadside hamburger stand almost a century ago? Today only, fast food places around the country are offering cheeseburgers for a low, low price of 50 cents, and some are even offering them for free. Enjoy those cheesy discounts. In other news, the weather today is 68 degrees. The perfect weather to stay inside with a cup of joe. To add on to this depressing weather, it will be raining all the way through this afternoon and early Tuesday morning. Make sure to stay indoors. We've got an interesting story <coughs> for you today, your daily Florida Man news. A high school psychology teacher in Florida was recently fired for a very unique situation. Jeffrey Keene made his students write their own obituaries in an effort to keep gun safety. Keen had his students put themselves in an active shooter situation, which he was supposedly said would help them write about dealing with mortality within a hypothetical event. An upset student reported Keen's lecture to the counselor, who then spoke with a supervisor, which resulted in him being fired. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un is slaying the day away with his gifts from Russian leader Vladimir Putin following their summit. These gifts include rifles, Soviet artifacts, and military drones. Most of these violate international law. We'll update you guys if there's any more news about this topic anytime soon. After 27 years of marriage, mm -hmm. actress Hugh Jackman and Deli uh, Delora D. Fur Furness are divorcing. The two met in 1995 on the set of the seri TV series Coralie and married the next year. According to CNN, the two have stated that their family will be top priority, but separating will give them the opportunity to pursue their own individual growth. The separated couple has asked for the fans to respect their privacy, and that will be the last statement they will ever make about their relationship. Hopefully the two can gain the growth that they hope to achieve. In other news that's sort of exciting, Ian Hecox and Anthony Padilla of Smosh announced their YouTube channel on Friday that their infamous series, Food Battle, will be making a return after seven years of absence. On the announcement, they showcased a poll to vote on which food Anthony should use in Food Battle, while Ian is still using the iconic pink. Tristan, what's your favorite contender in the Food Battle? I guess I would say the churro. An electrifying showdown yesterday afternoon, the Lions crashed with the Seahawks in a nail-biting game that had fans on the edge of their seats. Both teams fought hard, showcasing their skills and determination. The Lions displayed an impressive, an impressive offense and performance, while the Seahawks' defense put up a formidable resistance. It was a thrilling battle to the very end, but in the final moments, the Seahawks emerged victorious with a close score of 37-31. to 31. A remarkable victory for the Seahawks in a game that will be remembered for its intensity. Stay tuned for more thrilling sports action coming your way. Speaking of sports, we made a mistake on Thursday. We said that Aaron Rodgers broke his arm, but he actually injured his Achilles tendon. We apologize for the misinformation, and we hope for a speedy recovery for the Jets quarterback. Well, I, for one, am pretty excited about Hamilton. Hamilton? What about it? Oh, you haven't heard? No, I haven't. The cast of Hamilton is back and now I'm from Alaska <laughs> and Chicago for to continue performing. Returning fans, dumb Hammy fans by the Chicago Tribune, have reported first-time watchers receiving pins to celebrate their first time watching. Well, that got me excited, with, and with that, today's news comes to an end. My name is Tristan Maddox, signing off. And I'm Ruthie Matthews, signing off.